Um, really stress the importance of being the same person on and off the field, um, being a man who's accountable, a guy who's um, a man of integrity. So uh, I pride myself on that. Amir, uh, New Orleans working with Robert next season. Talk about the potential of playing on an offense like that with Drew Brees and a lot of talent. Uh, New Orleans, you know, have a great prolific offense. You know, they spread the ball around a lot. Me, right now, I feel like any offense would be great for me, you know, but um, New Orleans would be great. Uh, fortunately, at Nebraska, we ran a pretty multiple, you know, system. Uh, early in my career, we ran a lot of power. Uh, later in my career, we ran a lot of zone and inside zone. So I was fortunate enough to see both spectrums of offensive, you know, what offense can present on the field. So um, hopefully I can just transition to wherever I go. How about you enjoy the physical side of the game, pass protection, linebacker to protect the quarterback, wide receiver, the quarterback, the quarterback, the quarterback, the quarterback. Oh, I, I enjoy it. You know, that's what the game of football is about. You know, being a guy who's uh, good in every every area, not just running the football, but also catching the football, blocking. Um, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm in the developmental stage. I understand uh, blocking is something I have to get much better at, but um, right now, I feel like I'm learning a lot of techniques. Just being down at the senior ball that will help me develop better, better in those areas. I'm getting better, getting better. Um, got a lot better at the senior ball. You know, um, I've had some games where I'm not so good. I've had some games where I'm really good. So um, just becoming more consistent on a day-to-day -day basis. Talk about your experience as a running back, and who do you pattern your game after the next one? Um, Right now, I don't feel like I can pattern my game out there. Anyone, <laughs> everyone's really good at that level. But um, a guy I really look up to is Work Done. Uh, he was a running back who I feel like he could, you know, take it the distance. He could catch the ball in the backfield. A guy who was, you know, powerful between the tackles and off the field. He was a, you know, for you know, first team guy. You know, so um, that's the guy I look up to. Work Done. Have you talked to the Lions, or do you expect to talk to the Lions? Who's that? Uh, have you talked to the Lions, or do you expect to talk to them? Uh, I've talked to him. At the Senior Bowl, uh, kind of took a lot of pride in finishing every run. Like oh, yeah. You're always sprinting like an extra 20 yards. Uh, yeah, well, where, I mean, that's that's what it's about. You know, um, you can't train differently than how you're going to play on Saturdays or Sundays. And um, that's what the running back position is about. You know, when you finish a drill, sprint 30 yards because when you get in the game and you have to sprint 30 yards it won't be the first time you did it you know it'd be second nature you won't be winded you could take it a distance no problem and that's just something i learned from amon green a lot of guys who played at you know nebraska before me who were who were great running backs so i kind of stole that from them and just implemented it in my game some mock drafts have you going to san diego yeah. what are your thoughts on the chargers organization Great organization. You know, I played in their stadium this past bowl game, so I'm familiar with the area. Um, looking forward to learning more about him. He's a freak of nature. Randy Gregory, I played with him. Um, one of the best athletes I've ever seen, you know, so I'm sure he won't have a problem transitioning. What about your overall thoughts on the Lions and what they might be looking for in the back? I know they're looking for a guy who can do it all, a guy who can, you know, they don't have to take off the field. and. I, I'm pretty sure I can speak for every team when I say that, but uh, the Lions are looking for a guy who, who's dynamic. So um, hopefully someone in this draft will fit their suits. I have not. <laughs> he's my he's my favorite running back of all time. I would really you know cherish that moment if I got the opportunity. But you know right now I'm just trying to focus on you know getting to the NFL and making a team right now. You were pretty young when he was when he was playing. Just talk about how young you were when when he was starting. Yeah, I was really young. Um, I was probably about five or six when he was in the league, and when he really hit his prime, I was probably about eight. So um, he helped me, uh, my my love for the for the game to grow, you know, and for the position of running back to grow. And you know, hopefully, like I said, I'll get to meet him one day and uh, talk about it. Um. Honestly, I've always had confidence in myself. Even out of high school, I was lightly recruited. Only school that offered me for running back was Nebraska. But even at that moment, I knew I, I knew I had the opportunity. You know, it's all about 
you know, having a will. You know, it's not always about, you know, being the most athletic or the most dynamic or physical specimen type guy. It's about having that will and that, that confidence. And Utah, I've always had that confidence. Clay, table three, Utah wide receiver, Kalen Clay, table three.